Hi, this is James Amon with Old Capital, and I'm here with Lawrence with uh, Protea. Um, so, Lawrence, maybe to kick it off, give people a little bit about your background and uh, what you guys do. Okay. Well, we are a third-party management company, so we're the ones that take on all the headaches of managing the apartment community, so you really don't have to. As far as my background, I've been with the company for about 15, maybe 16 years, and I have worked my way up. I started out as a leasing agent, an assistant manager, manager, regional, then a VP, and, and finally in as president a couple of years ago. All right. So um so you've you've seen every piece of the <laughs> the the management structure out of out of property, which is great. Um yeah. so so we'll get into that a little bit, but then uh talk about where um the properties that you manage, what sort of markets are you in, and then sort of size and um, you know, age of property you guys typically okay. manage. So we have I think You'd say both, we have the class C properties. So out in Garland, North Richland Hills tend to be where the, our class C's are. Um, we do have a couple of class A or as close to class A as you're going to get, maybe teetering on a class B property as well. And then we also have some properties in Houston, which would be probably the class B uh, properties. Okay. Um, so Dallas and Houston, and then yes. um, what would you say, I mean, you've been with the company for uh, 15 years. What what are some of like the distinguishing characteristics of, you know, why somebody would choose you guys to manage your property versus self-managing or another right. third party? So we are a family owned boutique company. We all of our, most of our employees at our corporate office, and in fact, even some of the employees that we have on site are extremely loyal to us. We've had some people that have been with the company really since the founding, which was almost 30 years ago. And we take care of our clients. We treat them like family. Uh, we like to build relationships with the vendors, with our clients, as well as with the employees. So we willing to take on all the headaches for somebody who's self-managing. If you're going to self-manage, you're going to have to probably be at the property. And if you want your time back and if you want <laughs> to go on vacation, it's, for example, it'd be a lot easier if you have somebody else as a third party management company. So we take on all those headaches of collecting the rent, making sure everything's running smoothly on the property as well. All right. Um, is there anything so um you know you you guys seem to have across the whole spectrum um so maybe let's touch on DFW what are you okay. seeing on your A class properties right now as far as just in terms of occupancy lease traffic are you having to give concessions so, yeah. depending on the submarket so we're seeing around about a 95% occupancy on the uh, class A properties that we have. We, on one of them, we were doing some concessions and we're still probably gonna still do them just because, just to help get people in the door, but we right. still obviously qualify everybody. We're just, you know, we're just. <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, with the amount of supply, depending yeah. on the submarket, uh, yeah. There's a lot of properties like in lease up, they're given a month to two months free. Yeah. 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 So we're not quite giving away about, you know, a month or two months. It's usually about $500 give or take or yeah. up to maybe about half full month's rent. Okay. And then um, what about like your BNC properties right now? Are they having to do concessions to, um, I don't know if, are people jumping up to A <laughs> to grab some of those concessions and impacting BNC or is it, is there as much demand on BNC? I mean, I remember, you know, back a couple of years ago, it was just like 20% <laughs> rent increases and there was, you know, 99% yeah. occupied. So yeah we're, yeah, we're not seeing the, those huge rent increases <laughs> right. anymore, yeah. obviously that, that has changed. I don't think our BNC uh, sees, especially not on the C, seeing so much of uh, concessions 
at right. the current time doesn't mean that it won't happen in the future. I'm just not seeing it yet. Okay. Uh, at least not on our properties. Other properties may have them, um, which may impact ours down the road. But right now on ours, we really aren't. And then um, are you seeing any um, differences between uh, your DFW portfolio and your Houston portfolio right now? Oh, yeah. Big difference, especially with the hurricane that went through. It yeah. kind of knocked our properties for a, for a loop. Uh, but we're starting to recover. And Was the power down for like two or three days? Uh, more than that. It was down oh, almost wow. 12 days. 12 yeah. days. Wow. 12 days. So, yeah. So, that affected everything from being able to collect the rent because people weren't able to go out and work. But we're recovering. And... Uh, the regional was, she was just down there this week. She was down there a few weeks ago to survey everything. She went down almost immediately after the storm hit as well. So we're doing what we need to do to take care of it. Again, that's one of the headaches that we take on uh, <laughs> as a third party management company. What What is the messaging? Um, you know, obviously you guys are giving um, ownership groups like a monthly uh package reporting package yes but what's sort of the rhythm that you communicate with the owners um as a third-party property management company is it a weekly call is it a it, whatever the owner wants we <laughs> have some owners that pretty much come to our corporate office because uh, we also do retail i'm just gonna use them for an example yeah. and that regional talks to them almost on a weekly basis Okay. We have others that prefer to do it by phone call and we'll talk on the phone to, we'll talk on the phone. We've got some, the Houston owners are out of Canada, so they do come and visit the properties or it's done on a phone call. So we do, we'll do it. If somebody wants to talk every other day as an owner, that's what they really want to do. Yeah. We'll do it. If they want to do weekly, if they do want to do every two weeks, once a month, we will go with whatever their schedule is. It's never a problem. What in terms of CapEx right now are you guys spending on properties to really either drive rents or reduce expenses? What do you think is sort of good use of CapEx dollars right now in today's market? So it depends. I know on the Houston property, they're going to have to probably put some CapEx into removing some trees and doing obviously getting some repair work done from the storm. Okay. Um, but aside from that, we are seeing that we are doing some renovations on some of the properties uh, at Spicewood. We the owner is actually very active in upgrading all the apartments, talking about new countertops, light fixtures, sinks, going in, replacing carpeting, putting in all wood laminate flooring where possible. So and obviously, once that's all done, we do bump the rent up and we're getting that increase on the renovated uh, units as well. Okay. So um, depending on the business plan and sort of where the property is at, that's going to yeah. determine the, the CapEx. Um, any other advice? You know, there's a lot of investors out there. Any other advice for them, uh, what they should be doing over the next, let's say, six months, three to six months? Yeah, obviously... Having a good third-party management company is my best advice I, I can give anybody. Other than that, the biggest mistakes that I've seen investors do is overpaying for properties and then having that huge debt service that just kills everything. And obviously to do the due diligence, make sure you know the market that you're getting into, make sure you know the area, shop the competition if you need to. If there's a property you want, even shop that property, make sure everything's running smoothly before you go in and even put in, you know, a bid or a letter of intent. Just as I like to say, just don't get in over your skis, which we have seen. And uh, as far as doing helping with due diligence and somebody who's looking to buy a new property uh, or even taking over property, we've done it all. So we can help with everything. Uh, we'll wrap up with, um, you know, you walk a lot of, I walk a lot of properties, but you walk even more properties than me. <laughs> any, uh, any crazy, crazy things you've seen recently uh, when walking properties? <laughs> uh, 
I wouldn't say recently because I've actually transitioned, like I said, into our corporate office. Okay. But <laughs> I saw some, I've seen a lot of, we've all seen a lot of crazy things as managers. We've seen residents do some really strange things. I mean, we had a resident here at Spicewood who was convinced people were coming into her apartment through the air vents. <laughs> so that's probably the craziest thing. Uh, but we've all seen, we've all seen st stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We've all seen the crazy. <laughs> well, if uh, if people wanted to reach out to you to get maybe a pro forma or have you look at a property yeah. of bringing on, maybe that they're taking from one manager to another, what's the best way for people to reach out to you? Uh, uh, we can obviously stop by the booth. I'll have plenty of business cards, but uh, you can always send shoot me an email. It's simply just my name. It's Lawrence at... And then Protea, and that's P-R-O-T-E-A, and then real estate. It's all one word. So Lawrence at ProteaRealEstate.com. And to say what you that you're looking for a new a third party management company, or you want us to just take a quick look at something, and that's never a problem. So when when somebody is thinking about switching management companies, then uh, what do you usually need from them? Like, is there do you usually look at the rent roll, like balance sheet? Like what, what are some of the things yeah, that they send yeah. over? So we like to go take a look at the property as long as, you know, we, we work just about everywhere from Florida to Dallas, to Austin, Oklahoma, I believe Colorado, New Mexico. So where possible, we do like to go and to actually take a look at the property. And then we would like to look at the financials. We want to make sure everything looks good and that there's, not going to be a whole lot of other issues coming up. And then once we've done that, we do like to then sit down and do preferably do a face-to-face -face meeting if at all possible with the owners or investors. Okay. Um, anything else uh, before I let you go, Lawrence? Anything that uh, you want to let the audience know? <laughs> no, just uh, the main thing is if you are looking to purchase a property, if it's your first time or your 300th time, have a good third-party management company that is going to take on, like I said, all the headaches and all the issues for you. And we will do whatever our clients require of us as well. Okay. All right. Uh, Lawrence, thanks for jumping on today. And okay. uh, we'll see you at the Old Capital Conference here in October. Okay. Well, thanks for the interview. All right. I'll see you. Okay.